sort of, you know, rethink the, the way you experience the world. It's like, I, somebody, I walk up, somebody had banned the post. They vandalized my bicycle. They cut my bike seat. They literally cut my bike seat. Who the fuck cut your bike seat? <laughs> I mean, you know how deeply disturbing that is? It's like, it's like a, how bad was your childhood that you saw my 10 speed tied to a pole, pull out a blade, and then be like, just look at this rich motherfucker right here. Ah. I'm the bear guy, because I got a huffy outside of a coffee shop. I'm the one you want to get back at. People are really crazy. Me a question and they respond with something that has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> I asked this guy, I was like, do you know where the tavern is? Some bar? And he's like, I don't know where it is. But my friend used to work there, but they fired him. He was getting high. His girlfriend kept coming around. I'm like, what are you doing right now, man? <laughs> you know, like people just start talking about stuff in a, in a context where it's so inappropriate. It's like, just guys, just, just say things. I was at a bus stop and this girl walks by and this guy out of nowhere goes, because I would do things to her that if she had parents, she would never be able to look them in the eye again. <laughs> and I was like, you're cool. I hope this bus gets here. So. What are we going to talk about now? The weather? You pretty much taking this friendship as far as it's going to go, you serial killer. I don't know that anybody's come up with a unified field theory yet, but, but certainly there's... What we do have is, um, I can't satisfy a woman. Yeah, you heard me. It's so maddening. You ever, you ever, those, like, you ever get those arguments like, you hear Van Gogh cut his ear off and sent it to his girlfriend and you think that's crazy until you've been in one of those relationships and then you think, I can't believe that doesn't happen every fucking day. Just somebody sawing their ear off, like, ah, take it, to each his own. You know, I'm bleeding, I can't hear you, and it's worth it, and... This is why a crime of passion is a legitimate defense strategy in a court of law. A crime of passion, Bri, means you did some shit you wouldn't have done had you not been in a relationship while you did it, and the court recognizes that. It means the prosecutor said to the defendant, did you or did you not kill your spouse? And somebody was just like, they wouldn't shut the fuck up. You know? And the judge is just like, we understand. And he turns around, he's missing an ear, he got a turn signal in his leg. Because everybody understands. 